Zine make him scream. Whoa, what's that with it, man? It's your boy CCGG View. You hear me? You're not tuning into to Nola Zane TV. Okay, so I'm gonna tell everybody where you're from. Oh, I'm from Skyview, East Side, New Orleans, New Orleans East. Sky check a board. You know what I'm saying? It's all the same. Being from the east, yeah. I want you just to tell everybody, you know, if how it is, or like for you now versus growing up. Uh I mean ain't really too much. There a lot changed. Like I'ma say, uh no, it's wild though, but it was wild growing up too, but it, it's crazy in that east right now. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it's crazy. Hey, but right I call it Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft. GTA. GTA. I saw some GTA stuff around it. Is the GTA E. Yeah, <laughs> they was in on the bridge, look out the window, shooting at each other. <laughs> I said no. That was some real. If they did that one day, I just turned around on Mars. I'm gonna go back that way. Yeah, I stopped. <laughs> I'm go back that way. You know what I'm saying? I, I stopped. <laughs> well, no pause of that. <laughs> so being from New Orleans now. Moving all the way to um, like Detroit, I want you to explain it like the transition, it like how it go down, and also I'm like what's the difference? Oh, uh, it ain't really. Your knowledge. Well, I'm gonna say this, but it ain't really too much big of a difference. I well, for me, I personally think like and like if you look and like like key into everything, you'll see like our cultures do in the act. You know what I'm saying it's been said, GDP. You know, a couple of people that showed it. You know, our, uh, you know, cultures do it in the egg a lot. So it wasn't really hard for me to, like, kind of try to fit in with, you know, the people who I do rock with out there. So, and then my mom out there. That's really why I went out there. The, uh, yeah, take my music more serious and get my mama to, like, I didn't go out there knowing she was going to manage me or nothing. I just, you know, went out there feeling like knowing I'm going to get her to manage me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get her to see how serious I'm here. And that's what happened. So that was my main focus. I wasn't really too much on like trying to I was like really focused on trying to get that woman to take my music serious so you know that's where my focus was at you know what I'm saying okay hey, so explain that like you know if just having I'm like your mom's as your manager because you know like you know it was sometimes you know like I'm like you might feel a certain type of way but you like, at the same time um, but that's your mom so you yeah, still can't yeah, kind yeah. of fuss how you want you know, space. But see how she see how she raised us, dude. Like she got three boys, you know, my mom. So she, you know, she raised us, you know, like three boys. So, like, you know, the age I'm at now, like she, like that's my real friend. Like we got a real, like, best friend relationship. So we bump heads, but like we always know it's like always good. Like we don't never, I don't know how I could put it. It'd be like, when you know, we still don't be mad. We might bump heads. And something we talking about, you know, cause she know I'm my own man. At the end of the day, I have my own, you know, thoughts on stuff. But like, it be still all good, you know what I'm saying? With me and her, I can't speak for everybody else, you know, in their relationships with their mama, but we be good. I could talk her, like for, like since I was young, she told me don't never lie to her. And I, yeah, I talk to her about a lot, you know? Okay. So growing up in New Orleans, like, I want you to explain I mean, how it was, you know, growing up in New Orleans and having one big cousin I mean, that's just a, you know, one New Orleans rap legend. Right, yeah. Uh, I mean, well, if you know me, then you know I'm a Gemini. Shout out to the Gemini. Uh, like, I am, um, and I'm a, like a person that's before my time, so like, I kind of like really understood at a young age, like, who BG was. So I was like the little cousin that always like, like I had like my brothers and them, they used to be like hype about saying them and stuff, but they, they used to always be like, that's Dougie, like, you know. I'm the one used to be like, boy, look, what's up, Dougie? Like, you know, <laughs> man, I'm trying to get down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was the one always ecstatic, you know, cause that's what I, you know, this is what I always wanted to do since a youngin. So yeah, like growing up around him and saying what he was doing for us, the family, and the immediate family, like we was always straight when he, especially when my mama got involved. You know, she was the CEO of Chopper City when he left Cash Money the day. Right. So, yeah, she executive produced all his albums. Yeah, she hyped. So, like, 
just for her to even take me serious and I know the type of people and you know the type of realm she could touch. Like I'm I'm over it. Like not just cause that's my mom. I know what she bring, I know her story, I know, yeah, she hype. Okay. So, like, you know, I want you to like explain a little bit about this because you know, I have a few like um but I have like a little uh, knowledge about it, but a lot of people know that that actually BG actually went from uptown actually to the east. Yeah. Like, you know, you well, see, my mom is favorite auntie. She, BG, she's like her first child, basically. Like, my mom and a baby sister, and her and my auntie, like, eight years apart, I'm gonna say, or 10. So, when Jesus was born, they she was 10. She was the, yeah, she was the automatic babysitter. And if you know, said BG mama, my T to turn up, you know, she she the same, t you know, since she been, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't like imagine we are close knit family. If she wanted to still go out and have fun, my mama most definitely took care of dude. You know, she was the one automatically watching them. You know, yeah. so they she learned a lot from him. You know, yeah, and he learned a lot from my mama, but she learned a lot from him. Like you know, they they learned a lot together. Okay, so tell us how did you actually come up? Um, well, tell us how you actually came up on it with your rap name. Oh well, he came up with my rap name like my well my rap name was a uh, Young Skyview. When I first rap, well, my first rap name was Lil Rock. My real name, Roger. But, uh. I'm the rap name you had? No, I was my brother. <laughs> no, it was Lil Rock. And then, you okay. know, I ain't wanna mess with my real name or whatever, you know. So I'm like, I'ma change it. So, me and my best friend, he been now 10 years. My best friend, he, he, his name was Skyview Youngin', and my name was Young Skyview. You dig? And, you know, man, that's how we. But when. B Jesus start BG start taking me serious, you know, with the Chopper City Gorilla Gang and put me in the group and shit. He, I wasn't there, you hear me? Cause I was telling him, cause he know I be standing on how I be feeling. So I'm like, man, my name Young Skyview, man. <laughs> so they put the, uh, if y'all go look at it, they put out the um, Money Side Murder Side, I'm on I Ain't Telling, I'm on the third verse. They got Young View on there, they took the sky out. He said, man, man, they said, when he was in that, it was tough. He said, man, dude, he said, man, no, put Young View. You know, Young Sky, you put Young View. <laughs> so, like, I just rolled with it from now. You know what I'm saying? It was all the same, dude, you did. He said that was too long, man. Well, hey. Hey, but you know best. Yeah, I want not trip, man. But that's how I got the, the Young View, because it was Young View, but you know I ain't young no more. So I just, you know, a CCGG View now. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna tell the world, I'm like, what's the average day like for you? Uh, shoot. Coming up with my music and my crowd like lately, you know what I'm saying? I got a good team behind me, so, like, lately my day's just been, like, brainstorming on more music, my crowd, how I can make it better, and just, you know, jotting around ideas, because, uh, like, my team that's behind me, they set it up the way I could do that. Like, you know, I ain't got to really worry about too much right now, but just, you know, Perfecting my music, and you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, that, yeah, saying what I can do to make my situation better. Okay, so tell us um about your brand new um, like project that you got going on. Oh right yeah, now. it dropped my album Life of a Ghetto Soldier, Right in My Wrongs. You know what I'm saying? Dropped February 18th. It's on all platforms. Yeah, that that I put a lot into this album. I, I we came out with mixtapes and stuff. You know, as the Chopper City Gorilla Gang. And I had another little album when I was young that I did myself and recorded myself. That's what BG take me serious when I did that. I taught myself how to record and, you know what I'm saying, put all everything together with my first little mixtape. And he was like, man, this man, nigga. So, uh, yeah, but Life of a Ghetto Soldier, man, this is my best project. This is my best work. Like, and I only think it could get better. Like, it's, man, I don't think people could skip a song. You know, they say, hi, we music. Yeah, how we music? Okay. Black so, and Mile on that too. All right. Two beats from Black and Mile. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm sure about to ask you that next. Like, yeah. Hey, but who are you got on like featured on there? That's how powerful my music is. Like, and I'm just saying that not to see conceited or nothing. Like, and that my team feel like this. I only got one. No, I got two features on there. I'm lying. I got a feature from one of my people, my partner. Shout out Trey Royale. He from Detroit. He on the song Life of a Ghetto Soldier. Hear me? I got him on there, and I got my partner. OMG Mitch, you hear me? He from my hood, he from, you know, Skyview, Ch 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 Boy. He, he from now, yeah, and I got him on there, so. But 14 tracks on now, I got them two features, a Detroit feature and a New Orleans feature. All right. So, tell us what, I'm like, separates you 
I'm like from other artists. Man, I'm laughing, dog. I was on the phone last night with my cousin, and she was doing somebody help, and the lady asked me that, dog. Yeah. She said when you when they ask you this, she said yo, I heard your music. She said when they ask you um, what you gonna say when they ask you? I swear I'm not gonna say that. She said what they what you gonna say when they ask you uh, you know what separate you you know from the other artists. I, and I told her, this is my exact what I say on my story. I mean, I don't think nobody got the same story. And, you know, I don't want to say like, yeah, my stuff fire, you know. Like, I put a lot of heart into my music. My music real. Everybody gonna relate to it. And I just speak my story. So, like, if you hear it, of course, you're gonna hear my story different. You know what I'm saying? From, you know, everybody else's story. They might have similarities, but, yeah, I just embrace my story. So that I feel like that's what, you know separate me. Okay. So, being in the music industry for a while now, tell us what do you actually enjoy about it, and tell us what do you actually I'm like, hate about it. I like making music. That's what I, I really do like making music. I ain't gonna lie. I like making music. I like getting better. I like, you know, seeing myself evolve. That's what I like about it. I just really like making music. And of course, the money and, the end, you know, end result, but what I hate about it, just the fakeness. And you know, it's, it's a lot of fake stuff going on in the industry, a lot. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might have to not like a fake move that are going as your image or nothing, but you might have to like, you know, hold your tongue up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it. Like you're not, not, not lessening yourself as a person or nothing, but you might have to take some shit from certain people in this industry that you don't usually take in your regular life. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I had to learn that, like, a lot. <laughs> and that's what I don't like. That's my personal, you know, that I don't like. Certain shit you gotta take from certain people in this industry to get the weight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so tell us, I'm like, what's your favorite song on like, that you have released so far? And I'm also, I'm like, tell us why. Uh, I'm a, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna speak on the album. Uh, for the, um, my favorite song, cause like I said, uh, I got a lot of, like all my music, but my favorite song on the album is I'm What They Can't Be. That's my favorite song, you know what I mean? That's number two on the album, on Life of a Ghetto Sword. Okay. So, how well do you take on um, the constructive, on um, the criticism? Oh, I take that well. Like, real good. Like, I don't be tripping. I'm like a person, um, I'm show by myself. I've been show by myself, you know. I might have went too show by like my craft, like prior years. I'm show by it now, but you know, I, I take it cool because I know if you do tell me something, if I see it ain't right or it can help me, I'm going to trust me, I'm going to use it. So I don't be doing no tripping. Yeah, because you know, artists, you know, it, it's always talk about this like criticism and like hate. That's too it's like a very like thin yeah. line, cause yeah, like, line. you don't know because somebody might be joking, they yep. know you the whole time. Yep. Like, man, that shit trash, but yep. like, hey, you just never know. Yeah. I get it. So. That's another thing. Yeah. That's like part of what I was saying what I don't like. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. So, if you could date anybody in the music industry or in the or, or like, in, or like entertainment industry, I mean, who would it be? And also tell us why. I ain't never think of that, no. Cause they got a lot of beautiful women out here. I'ma say that. But you choose um, them all, like you ain't gotta say no names. No, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, like you know, this, we speaking on an industry chick. Like, damn. I don't know. I go for the big fish. I like Rihanna though. <laughs> I like Rihanna. <laughs> you get fish there. The big fish, huh? Yeah, I like Rihanna. I mean, if we gonna pick a, 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 a industry, I like her though. And she like a crush for me, you hear me? Okay. So, tell us, where do you see your music career going on like three years from now? Uh, shit, uh, I see myself shit, on the charts, on like, the billboards and all that. Yeah, yeah, BT awards and stuff like that. Like everything that's happening for me now, I spoke just like before I, I went to Detroit with nothing. Yeah. Just me, my car, and my, you know what I had. But you drove to Detroit? Yeah. How far that is? 15 hours. We drove here. I'm on a promo tour, man. I'm you about focus, to, huh? Yeah, I'm about to shoot the Austin from here and I'm driving to Atlanta from there. Yeah, it's good, it's good. And in between all them states, they gonna, yeah, they gonna hey. get me. Oh, but they got a fee, huh? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, so you drove all the way on to the, like you drove all the way to on like Detroit on it by yourself? No, I had my oh. I, I paid for my Lapana to fly back. I needed oh, somebody right. with me. Well, I see that boy. I see, damn, that's a nice little ride. And I was like kind of going through a little bit, so I needed somebody to ride with me uh, while I dipped. But yeah, it was 15, 16 hours when I left. You know, I stopped a few times. Well, just speaking on that, just drive like, if how important I'm like it was to you to actually just actually move out of New Orleans. Oh, it was it, very important. And just have a change of scenery. Cause like, if you know me, you know view, you know knowing it. I'm a hustler, I'm a go-getter. I know how to come from nothing. My cousin, they come back here, like, I, you know what I'm saying? My mama come from under, you know what I'm saying, a lot. I know, like, I'm the type of person, I feel like this is my city, and I will feel like everybody feel like that in this city. I feel like I could always make something happen here, but it's just so much hate here. Right. Like, I'm a, I, I know how to get it. I'm gonna make something happen here. I didn't have nothing, you dig? I ain't had nothing when I come home during three years, 34 months. And look where I'm at, but like, yeah, it's just it, it's the crab in the bucket thing. Like, if you're a person know how to get up out, out here, they be grabbing you down. So that's why I left before they just kept me in that bucket. I, I just did. Yeah, but it's easy. It's easy to get. I'm like tripped out your spot. Yeah. But the thing is, if I ask, I'm like, why you been waiting to like the truck? You know, it usually people if like move from, if it usually people actually move from here and like try to move. To like Houston or Atlanta somewhere, you know, a little more safer. Uh, but you, but you with Detroit, like damn the same thing in the streets. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah you went straight back to the hood. I got it's like driving from the west back to the east. I got stabbed <laughs> up out there. I went you got out what? There. I almost died, man, Detroit. I got stabbed. I went out there, and me, I got stabbed. Why? Well, my birthday, May 21st. So I went out there like two days for my birthday. I got stabbed June 29th. God damn. My day, two times. I almost died. Yeah. So you got it to somebody or, or was it? Yeah, random? some little shit, yeah. Damn. Well, if I'm glad this, you know, if so I'm glad to exactly I'm gonna see you still here. You yeah, know, it's work. love. It's, yeah, you know, like I said, I know how to bounce back from anything, boy. I ain't lying. So you know, you know, like me and you were talking earlier, but I still won't put it on camera. Um, like for the cultures go like New Orleans and Detroit. How you was telling me how you know just like like it's a difference because New Orleans has like a southern culture. Yeah, we do. And you went out there and you know just like even the females don't even want you to be like. It like made me feel friendly, and I ain't friendly. Like when I'm here, I'm not friendly. Like and not not saying that in a bad way, but it's like I went out there because I didn't been to all type of states. Like you saying, you go there, you could be the southern hospitality be there still. I went out there with, you know what I'm saying, with this same Southern hospitality. It's not here, you're not in the South, homie. You hear me? Get, it, get it straight, stay to yourself. And my mama kept saying that, look, don't be friendly by me. Ooh, <laughs> they don't, ooh. and the girls and everything. I said, that's how she be talking. I said, and I ain't listening either. But like, that's crazy, of just like, if that's a real, I'm a culture shock. Yeah, like even from the Orleans to like speaking to everybody, to, yeah. to you like speak somebody and just feel like, like a random stranger just on you already. You, know like, you feel like you got a new start, right? Like, I'm, yeah. I'm out here, no, nobody, you know. Boy, I know it, like, damn. <laughs> Hold on, man, I should have stayed. Wait. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see, real too. Yeah, I know who, I kind of know who down there, but I don't know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't know who you're yeah. speaking to out there. I definitely get that. But also, yeah, but the dope part is, I'm like your big cousin used to always talk about going to Oh, Detroit yeah, they love him like, out there. Yeah, they love him out there. And like, I saw, I'm like famous Dex and all them, yeah, like, you know, remix songs. Out there. Yeah, they love him out there, most definitely. But my mama been out there 10 years. You know, when the storm hit, Katrina, you know, that bad just got... Oh, that's the reason why he was going out there. Yeah, that, that <laughs> just got that deal with Koch. So, we was in Bush Continental Airport, the hotel. We wasn't in no, like, we was in the Continental Bush Hotel yeah. airplane. We stayed in the Bush Continental for, like, what? Two weeks, and we flew from Bush Continental. We left New Orleans, Bush Continental, and flew to Detroit from there. And we was in Detroit after the storm, you know, to, yeah, and my mama kept it, you know, she was back and forth. She had a little house in a condo out there in Destrian. But she got, then got rid of that, said she full fledged out there. So that's really why, you know, went out there. Like my mama, like stabilization, like she, I knew I was gonna be stable out there no matter what. It could have been Timbuktu, Kentucky, wherever. Right. My mama was that stable, so I knew. I was going you still so well. Good. Yeah, I, you know. What I'm the good part is I always tell New Orleans artists like, man, you know, you gotta travel and see other stuff. You yeah. gotta build a whole new fan base. 
Cause like you know, if the New Orleans ain't gonna support you until the world supports you. The world supports you, yo. Like they gonna be like, man, that local rapping ass nigga. What's so funny? <laughs> my mom would be showing me like you know the numbers, and that's what's so crazy. Like New Orleans number one, like for us on Apple Music. New Orleans number one who listen to my shit. Seattle number two, but like they don't show that like here. You know what I'm saying? And they listen to me a lot. Like I got right. you know. I'm like, you know, my city is poor, and it's it's crazy that I'm saying this, like, but they don't show it, like, like y'all the number one people listening to my shit, but I don't feel that. But you know, the crazy part is, if my company is called No Lazine TV, and New Orleans is number four of my views. You see what I'm saying? It's Houston, Dallas, Atlanta, then New Orleans. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't, it's like they don't be showing your bitch. And I have, home, and you know, I see y'all. And I interviewed over 300 New Orleans artists. Yeah. And so that's even crazy. Huh? That's big. Yeah. You might work 300 times two of that. Uh, you might work. Now nah, just travel around the world, interview artists from everyone. Yeah, man. <laughs> they most definitely. I'm just find. Yeah. I'm just find out and who fuck with me. That's how it's gonna be. You gotta rock with the real doing somebody that's humble and and and, and, and go and get that. That's what I'm doing right now. Basically, with you, you know. And that's what my mama said. She said, well, like last year, if last year alone, if she said I went to third states See? by myself, yeah. every hood like. They didn't even yeah. care. My mama still lose you. I think she said, I'm going to text you. She had to text me right now. Yeah, that's my yeah. That money, she a real one. Okay, so tell us something about you um, that you don't show on like, your social media. Um, uh, I don't show who I'm talking to. I'm <laughs> that all that. Straight up. And I ain't in no relationship. But if I ain't in no lockdown relationship, you'll never know who I'm talking to. That's what I don't show on my social media. Because people hate a lot. Definitely get that. Okay. So tell us, has there ever been one point in your music career on that we just want to give up? Uh, yeah. Shit, in jail. <laughs> you know, like, it's either jail or make it or break it. Because, you know, if it got a lot of people go to jail and say, man, when I come home, be a rapper. Mm -hmm. So, you know. I, I said that in one of my songs. I told myself that the day I left. I said, what I said in my rap, I said, if you getting money, I was in a plan. I told myself that before I left the camp. You can ask him. He from out the fisher. He was a bounce rapper. You can ask him what I told him. What that nigga name is with the bright eyes, bro. Uh, not the, uh, what song? Your girl did the watch them niggas or something. He did the watch the whole. He from the fisher. Hey, about T Tucker? His name ain't T. Well, the, I think he I know what you're talking about. Yeah, OG. He, he, he fought or something. Yeah, but T. Tucker. He got OG. brown yeah. eyes and he, yeah, but he from out of the fish. That was my seller when I rolled out him. I said, man, he said, bitch, you bitch, don't come. I said, boy, look, bitch, I'm out of here. Tans in the plan, <laughs> boy. I'm out of here. Yeah, the plan, man. Yeah. Okay. And so tell us, on like, what's next for you? Hey, but, hey, but you plan on dropping merch? I'm going to have it on like bigger features? Yeah, you know, server. my management team. Yeah, man, it's all raw. You know, we got this all raw merch. You see, there's one of the sweaters here. It did. Let's have my, you know, management. Respect of one of us with the raw stand for. Respect of one of them. It did. And uh, I represent that to the fullest. Hey, Shout out Big dope. Sweets, man. Yeah. That's actually dope. Yeah. Okay. It's real dope. And also, uh, but last but not least, tell everybody, I'm like, what can you find you on social media and just other music platforms? Um, to be honest with you, and I'm going to say this because, uh, Cause I like helping an independent artist. I could clear all that up. You know how y'all be saying, like all y'all platform. Just go to ccggview.com. And I'm glad you got a website, be on cause rappers don't have websites. No yeah. <laughs> everything gonna be on there. www.ccggview.com. Everything you need to know about me on that website. Let's see, make a scream. N o l a z i n e. Make them. S-C-R-E-A-M, scream, Nola Zine, make them scream, you heard me.